Well, welcome back. They are a great way to make a simple, healthy dish. We're talking about herbs and spices for cooking. Now, they've been a part of human history for thousands of years. The ancient Egyptians used spices to preserve their mummies. We still use all the spices traded during the Middle Ages, like black pepper, cumin, cinnamon, ginger cloves, nutmeg. Since then, dozens of new spices have been discovered and created. They all have rich traditions and purposes. And here to tell us about their purpose and how you can uh, make them part of your daily cooking experience is uh, Layla Ovando, who's former Google chef and professional caterer. Yes. You're going to talk about the eight most important spices to have in your kitchen. So, yes, there are some basic, real basic spices that you need. I agree with, we have smoked pepper, um, I mean, I'm sorry, smoked paprika. Um, it's really, really mild as a um, chili, but it has a lot of flavor, so you really don't need a lot of it to get the use that you need. Ever. And of course, the staples, salt and pepper. Salt and pepper always, yes, you always need that spices. Um, I use a lot of oregano powder. Um, and what kind of flavor does the oregano powder give, add to dishes? It gives it, I mean, it, it's different kinds of oregano. So you have Mediterranean oregano, you have Mexican oregano, and they have different, um, one's a little more potent. And it's, so the Mexican is a little, I guess you can say it's a little drier. Let's, let's get rid of this, sorry. <laughs> yeah, we have, we have, I want to say we have a pan going because we're going to demonstrate uh, how we're going to kind of incorporate some of these spices. So there's a list, kosher sorry. salt, black peppercorns, cayenne pepper, uh, cinnamon, and you mentioned that cinnamon, we typically think of it as a spice for uh, Sweet, desserts, right. but it can be used in savory dishes as right. well. Right, you can use it, and a lot of different um, cultures use it in, so we use it, say, in Mexico, we use it in mole, mm -hmm. um, which is You can use it delicious. in pasta sauces, pasta too. Pasta sauces, which is delicious, and you don't need a lot, it's very mild. Um, also, it's really good for your uh, coagulation. So, if people a lot are, of health properties, it's a lot of health properties. A lot of these yes. uh, spices. So, let's, uh, let's get started, started here. What are yes. we going to make? What are we going to so do? So, I have a dry rub, rub real quick that we're going to set up with one of these um, chicken breasts. Okay. So, what so you got here? I have smoked paprika. Okay. So we're going to make a little um, some spice rub. Okay. So, a little bit of smoked paprika. Just get a little. Do you have to put olive oil or anything on the? I the, do. I do a little bit after. Before. Okay. So after. We're going to throw it all in right now. So it doesn't matter if you do it before or after. You just. It's probably better to do it before just so it sticks better yeah um but but we're moving along we're, we're here, moving so. along here so i'm just gonna get it out here cayenne pepper cayenne paprika, pepper, paprika oregano and i have my salt and pepper There's already salt. right here i have kosher salt which is actually you, you don't need actually you, you need more kosher salt than regular salt okay so just to add that same salty flavor yeah it's just a little why lighter. do you prefer the kosher salt real it's, quick it's healthier oh, it's healthier okay. it doesn't um it doesn't have iodine in it and so you want to you want to always go with something that hasn't been processed as okay. best as possible. And so you just rub you it just all rub around. It literally, I'm just going to put my okay. hands in it. That's okay. Yeah, let's do it. And just get all that good stuff. I got this hot pan going here, and usually you want it pretty hot. So you want to sear it, especially with the spices. You're going to get a good crust on it, and so that's the main thing because we're it's a dry rub. So now we're going to move on to our marinade. Okay, let's move through the marinade okay. really quickly. Yeah, so, let's go uh, fast. so what is the difference between the rub and the marinade? I mean, the marinade involves a little more work and prep time, I, I imagine. Yeah, but it's also very simple. So this one is a um, um, jalapeno. So I have roasted jalapeno cilantro. We'll put a whole one. Now, roasting the jalapeno, does that make it more or less spicy? Um, or the same? It's kind of, <laughs> you know, if you, if you like the flavor of jalapenos, take out the seeds if you don't like the heat. This is one of your mildest uh, chilies, so it, you'll get the flavor, but you won't get as much heat. Okay. So, so really basically, good. the bottom line take is... Take out the seeds. Take out the seeds. But it, the bottom line here is that it doesn't take much to uh, really enhance... No, no, no. Just it's your basic just, staples. Chicken, you could do this with ground yes. turkey, ground beef, I Anything. imagine. Any protein that you want. You could even dip a tofu in here and fry it up if you'd like. Okay. So anyway, sorry, let's go back in. So we have pineapple, jalapenos... Um, cilantro, and we'll put a little bit of garlic in here. Let me just flip this That's over. good. So it's kind of like a blend of sweet and salty. Right. And you can also use this as a, uh, it's a marinade, but you can use it as a salad dressing as well. Oh, great. Okay. So double purpose. Okay. Well, we've run out of time, unfortunately, Layla, but Sorry, we guys. are going to have all the uh, uh, recipes here, this rub and the marinade, on our website, ktv.com. But uh, it's already smelling great. So Frank and Rosemary, I think once we're done here, you guys are going to have to sample.